You know what? I'll tell you what happened to Brandon. So I think um, me, Brandon, and my friend Sam were at my house. And we were just playing. It's a pool, wrapping up. We are about to go out of town to get something to eat. You know, uh, go on the bar, walk, walk and talk. Normal things on a Friday night. It's something we did every week. Uh, we left my house. It was kind of dark out, even though it was the middle of the day. It's kind of what you expect in the middle of winter. So, anyways, um, we were just walking down to grab some food, and what I found strange is that the uh, boardwalk was empty. It was kind of eerie outside, and it was really gloomy. Not really expect downtown. For a place that normally when I go downtown, I see someone I know, even in the middle of winter while it's 10 degrees. I thought it was really strange that no one went up the boardwalk at all. It just felt kind of weird. Anyways, uh, you know me, Sam, and Brandon are walking up to the boardwalk, and. Brandon told me he had to use the bathroom and they would catch up later, so I was like, oh yeah, let's go right ahead, it's fine. So uh, we continued walking, and what we found strange is after like 5-10 minutes, that we didn't hear back from him. So we're like, oh, it's just fine, just waited for more minutes or so, and, you know, 10 more minutes passed, and we're like, what's going on? Why would he be in the bathroom for so long? So, um, me and Sam texted him, only to have him not respond, and I decided I'll go check in on myself, because maybe something happened to him. So I walked to the bathroom to find him out there, and that's when it got really strange. Uh, we decided to call him, and we texted him again, and he didn't respond at all. Honestly, we were kind of freaking out, and it was starting to get dark out, and we were hoping to find him before it got too dark outside. I decided to pull up snap maps to let me see where all my friends are on a map. Um, so I, I checked on Brandon's location, and it said that Brandon was in the middle of the woods on the north side of town. I thought it was really weird because he's just with us and there's no way he's able to get there that fast, especially because he doesn't have his own car. So uh, me and Sam rushed back to my car, hopped in and drove to the location on the map. So after a few minutes we arrived in the location, Sam said he was too scared, so we waited in the car while I ran towards the location on the map. What I found there was a, a tape recorder and a tape. First of all, Brandon wasn't there, and second of all, his phone wasn't there either. So. I was just kind of freaking out, and I don't know, it just kind of horrifying and surreal. So I took the tape and put it inside the recorder, and I watched a video on it. I just, I just finished running away from someone. They, they were chasing me. 
for a very long time, I think. I think I got away. I, I don't know how, where I am or how I got here. I'm just in these, these woods, and I, I, if, if somebody's out there, if anybody's out there, please come find me. It's cold, and it's dark, and someone's trying to get me. I think, I think I might be safe now. I haven't heard anything for, for a couple of minutes. And I think he's probably gone. No, 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 no,